Okay, welcome everybody. We're going to have a look at the new features in Dynamo in Advanced Deal 2022. So Dynamo is a form of automation where you don't need to be a programmer to be able to develop your own forms of automation. So where can it be found? So when I open up Advanced Deal, we obviously sit inside the home ribbon. Um, I've already got Dynamo open in this case, but if you go across to the add-ins tab, you'll see there's a button for Dynamo, which then opens up this page. Now some important things to note, delivered as part of the Dynamo extension for Advanced Deal is a series of scripts which will be there to help you learn and look at examples of how you do certain things. Okay, and we'll have a look at those in a moment. If I click New and come into um, Dynamo, you can see here Dynamo has a category on the left hand side of all the different nodes, and there's a classification for Advanced Deal. And here underneath uh, Dynamo, if you've actually seen Dynamo for Advanced Deal in the past, you will have seen here that, or it was, you'll notice straight away, let's say, there is a lot more categories than before. So if I expand out beams, for example, you know, we've got bent beams, compound beams, poly beams, straight beams, tapered beams, unfolded beams. And if you expand any of those out, you have a bunch of creation methods and then a bunch of modifying elements, okay? And what one thing you'll notice is under each of the beams, there is a properties node, right? So whether it's straight beams, whether it's poly beams, and we will go into some of these details later on in another video, but understand under each type of category of beam, there is a specific property node for that type of object. In this case, where the beam reference axis uh, object or node is sitting under the beams level, that's because this is applicable to all beams, okay? You can see if we go to concrete, we have bent concrete beams, straight concrete beams, footing, slabs, walls. If we look at connection objects, you can see we have anchor bolts, um, bolts, where, um, shear studs, welds. Um, and again, these are all the common properties or the common modifying nodes that are specific to the connection objects. And then you have specific nodes for each object type. So for example, if I want to create a weld point, right, which is the equivalent of using, if I come to here, go into object. If I create a weld point, you can see here, that's the equivalent of writing a, a weld point. Or if I want to create a weld line, it's the equivalent of writing a weld line, right? So you can see here, we've got weld points, weld lines, shear studs, bolts, anchor patterns, all different um, types, okay? Um, even got the ability to create cameras and special parts, okay? And again, under each of these, you'll see there's a camera properties and slab properties, uh, special parts, sorry, properties. So as we go through these, you can see there is a lot of different nodes, including selection nodes, which allows me to select points or select objects. Again, in a later video, we'll go through this. This is the big difference. You'll see there's a lot more utilities, a lot more capability in this advanced tool. Anyway, there's the introduction video for the moment. Um, please enjoy these uh, videos. As I said, um, that we're going to do some more videos, but if you want to learn some more about the different types of nodes that are available, there is a range of sample scripts here for you to be able to look and learn from. So for example, if I you know, open up the Beams script, when I open it up, zoom out, you can see there's lots of different scripts with different sets of examples. And the idea is from this, you can read what's happening and look and learn to duplicate it, right? So for example, you can see here, to create a bent beam by a start point and an end point, we need a start point and an end point, which is coming from here. 
you need a point on the arc as well and you need an orientation vector and a reference vector to determine whether the beam is top of steel, middle of steel and so on and so forth. Again, the idea here is that when you run it, we should end up with a bunch of objects that get created inside our model. Okay, And these are just examples to help you. Anyway, as I said, we will be doing more of these videos. So enjoy and look forward to giving you more content shortly.